CustomTactical.com here, and today the uh, knife I'm looking at is the Medford Praetorian GT. Be the G10 and titanium version. Comes in one of these uh, spiffy Pelican type cases that um, from uh, S3 cases made in the USA that a lot of the um, mid tech. Um, high-end custom stuff comes in, the, uh, the Medford, uh, dog tag, and, uh, there's the, there's the, the specs on this one, the D2 oxide coated blade, Digicam, um, bead blast, so, we'll put this over here, get on the knife, so this is the full-size Praetorian, um, since uh, a couple of those guys want to know how heavy it is, coming in at 229.6 grams. Pretty heavy knife. It's about half a pound. Full size. It should measure in at about 9 inches total. Yep, 9 inches total with 3 and 3 quarter inch blade, which is pretty much right on the money. That's the spec. And, uh, I've been wanting a Praetorian for a long time. Um, it's pretty much the, probably the most famous of the, the Medford knives, um, Medford knife and tool knives. Uh, they make quite a few models, but the Praetorian is the, um, the marquee model, as they like to call it. It, um, it's, it's my favorite of their knives. It just has such a great handle. And I love the blade shape on it. It's uh, it is a, it is a thicker, wider blade, um, so more designed for hard use. But it's extremely sharp. This thing is, uh, you know, shaves hair. Um, also, uh, quite thin in the handle. Um, the the blade is really thick, but the handles are quite thin. Um, so when you actually when you're carrying an EDC. It, it doesn't have a whole lot, of, it doesn't have a very thick profile or anything. Um, let me just quickly compare it to, compare it to this, uh, Sebenza. Like, overall thickness, if you compare the two, I don't know if you can see it there, but they're about the same thickness. Almost the exact same thickness. Um, obviously the Medford Praetorian is a lot larger than the Sebenza 25, but... Thickness-wise, even though the Medford's got a huge, thick blade, it's the the scales are thinner, so it comes out close to the same thickness. Um, awesome blade stop here. Um, stainless steel hardware. A lot of little upgrades that you can do with titanium hardware for 200 bucks, and upgrade to a um, uh, S35VN blade. For I think a hundred bucks or something like that. Pretty expensive. Anything anything that you upgrade from the base is pretty pricey on these. Um, the blade opener, uh, the blade, the sorry, the lock stop stops pretty early, early on when they're new. Um, there's a there's a big bunch of writing that uh, Greg gives you inside these about all sorts of stuff. Do not do this. Do not do that. Lubricate, do not lubricate, do not use tools, um, all sorts of stuff. So, he's just saying, don't mess around with your knife. Uh, don't pry, don't hammer. And then there's the sign off on this one limited care warranty. Um, do not disassemble, and all that stuff. So, um, He's essentially said that he's built it properly, and you shouldn't have to do anything to it. If there is a problem with it, he'll take care of it. Um, Greg's known for, uh, Medford Knife and Tools known for having really, really good service. Um, really easy to get a hold of those guys, and um, they take care of any, any problems. Um, I love the blade stop on this. It's a big, thick, shiny stainless steel knob there comes all the way, it just locks in perfectly there, it's solid, it's not like a strider where sometimes one side hits and the other side doesn't, it's kind of, this, this definitely has a much, much more refinement to it, 
much uh, better belt knife and it just feels so smooth and there's no play um, the the D2 glass breaker here oh, it's fantastic um, love the pocket clip too it's nice machine custom titanium pocket clip on here and it and it goes on it it's it slides really well easily into pockets it looks great um i think the older um praetorians have a slightly different pocket clip it doesn't look quite as good as this it has sort of a cutout on it or something like that the later model ones like this are um i, I think are are a better pocket clip um because they're because they're machine they, they actually fit quite thick like they fit well on jeans and stuff like that as well as um you know like cargoes and stuff um really really good big big jimping here obviously huge huge jimping but that's like great purchase on the knife you can really get in there even has a little bit of a, a little jimping here so you can grab right in here just don't slide your hand too, for, too far forward there or you will cut yourself on the edge of the blade but you can grab in here and really get in there with the control it's fantastic grip and of course this uh digicam here is got that great grippy finish on it the titanium is okay you got the, the clip helps a little bit too great knife I really 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 like this knife it's good size I mean it feels big but because of the way the handle is designed it fits in the hand really well it doesn't feel like like a Strider AR or a GB like the, the blade reminds me a little bit of the AR GB's in the sense that it's a thick blade with a really chunky profile um, fairly shallow grind doesn't go all the way up um but um but way better built um just fits awesome in the hand and, and just you know i mean you, you do pay the price i mean they, there's they're 600 bucks from from medford so you're paying a, a fairly fairly good chunk of change for one of these so um you know i mean it wasn't long ago that custom knives were all about 600 bucks and um so and this is kind of getting into that league uh very very well built i mean it's not a whole lot more i can say these things are these things are awesome and it's um uh i've been pretty excited about picking this guy up so uh one one actually this one small criticism i might have is is the, the opener here um it's uh you know it's i don't love love the opener would have probably liked it a little bit better if it was just just a little easier to grip on, but not too bad. Super smooth. Medford Praetorian. Hope you guys enjoyed the review.